you know, breaking down the case in chronological order. The state's lead prosecutor in George Wagner's murder trial spent a day explaining how the dreadful events of April 22nd, 2016 unfolded. The nine women and three men serving as jurors in George Wagner's murder trial heard from witnesses today for the first time. The first person to share what she experienced after eight members of the Roden family were killed more than six years ago was Bobby Joe Manley, whose sister Dana was among the victims. Bobby Manley and a friend found the first two victims, Chris Roden Sr. and his cousin Gary. That discovery was quickly followed by this anguished 911 call, which was played for the jury. In addition to playing that frantic 911 call, Prosecutor Angela Canepa also entered these previously unseen crime scene photos into evidence. This picture shows blood drying on the floor of the first crime scene, as Canepa noted during her opening statement. And drag marks leading from the living room through the kitchen and down the hall and back to the bedroom where they surmised somebody who was bleeding had been drugged. After finding Chris Roden Sr. and Gary Roden, Manley told Canepa she and her friend checked another trailer nearby and found the bullet-riddled bodies of Frankie Roden and his fiance Hannah Gilly. Mercifully, a baby boy, whom Hannah Gilly was likely nursing at the time, survived, though according to first responders, he was covered in blood. Also testifying today was James Manley, Bobby's older brother, who found the lifeless body of their sister, Dana, in a different residence on Union Hill Road. Now, late this afternoon, a deputy took the stand. He testified about being flagged down by a frantic group of people, including Bobby Manley, in front of that second crime scene. That deputy was among those who saw that little baby boy alive, thankfully, but covered in blood. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.